This is my What Would Stoner Do Rifle Commando setup. Let's compare. Here we have a standard-ish What Would Stoner Do Rifle with a 16-inch barrel and a very long handguard. Now, my version has a couple of modifications done to it. You may not notice it at first, but my version has a shorter stock. The original What Would Stoner Do Rifle, it's a pretty good design, but one thing that bothered me immediately is that my rifle was overgassed. Now, we occasionally run suppressors, which only makes the issue worse. So I already had in mind to probably shorten the barrel and also attach an adjustable gas block. Essentially, this rifle has a mid-length gas system, but the hole in the barrel for gases is too big. So first idea was just to shorten the barrel from 16 inch to 12.5 or 13 ish, which would reduce the dwell time, reduce the pressure and reduce the gases. And just to do a step further, I decided to go with an adjustable gas block. And I'm glad that I did because even shortening the barrel to this uh, length using a suppressor would overpressure the rifle. Now with these two things done, I obviously also had to shorten the handguard. I just used a hacksaw and my autistic powers to first chop it off at the desired distance. And then since it had this very beautiful aluminum end piece over here, I had to also chop it lengthwise to get these two parts apart because it was glued in. And this way I could remove this beautiful finished aluminum piece out of that handguard and put it here so it looks almost like factory. Moving back, I did some minor changes to the mounting system of the handguard just to make it more rigid and that combined with a shorter length means that it does not move at all. The other thing that really bothered me was that this What Would Stone Do rifle, the European version, had some play between the upper and lower so you could move them a bit. Now this functionally does not make any difference, doesn't influence the accuracy or, or rela reliability, it just got on my nerves. I want to have my guns really sturdy and solid. And what I had to do is essentially take some uh, brass, this is actually a hammered down um, 308 brass that I made into a shim and I shimmed it here and in the back, you, you cannot see it here, and that made it super tight. If we look at the stock, you can notice that it's shorter than on a normal rifle. So I got this idea from Joe from Echo 93, and essentially I just cut it. Again, I just used a simple hacksaw and my superb gunsmithing skills and uh, chopped off the plastic. So this is the original butt plate and the plastic that was sitting here. And then talking with Joe, he suggested the Peckmeyer uh, recoil pad. This is a, a rubber one that I had to attach to the stock and grind down and shape in a, in a, in a decently looking butt plate. Or something. But why would you want to chop off the buttstock? Well, there are two reasons. Uh, first one is that I often shoot with a plate carrier, so a shorter length of pull is desirable. And the second thing is I will probably be running one of these uh, primary arms optics on it. This one is the five time prism and it actually has a very short eye relief. So even now, I am at the, the maximum distance I can look through it to still get a clear side picture. So a shorter stock was kind of important to me. If you like this mod, but you are mechanically challenged and you would not like to do it yourself, Echo 93 actually offers this as a service and they make it to look much better than this one. Now we come to the question, was it worth it? Well, yes, for me, definitely. I like the shorter form factor. I like how it handles, how it shoots. And even if we compare it to the standard version, it has some benefits. If we remove the mag and compare both of the rifles, my configuration 
is shorter overall, includes a suppressor, and with everything on the rifle, it's still a bit lighter than this version. So it's a performance oriented setup. And for those maybe worrying about the shorter barrel, yes, you will lose some velocity, but you will actually gain a bit of accuracy because this is a pencil barrel and essentially when you make it shorter, it's more rigid. It, it's hard to explain, but it, it actually is true, we tested it. My setup, without the optics and without the suppressor, empty, weighs less than a full Desert Eagle.